If you're starting the Mid-America transplant race, you likely know someone whose life finished too early. For the Robert family dressed in yellow, it was number 14. They're walking for Caden Robert, the football and baseball player from Benton, a small southern Missouri town. He was just 15 when he died. We got that call. And it's the call that you never want to get, ever. Caden was killed in an unintentional shooting in the school parking lot after another student brought a gun to school. He was rushed to the ICU. Doctors declared a brain death. Doctors his mother knew well. She was a nurse at that hospital. One of my colleagues said, get up in that bed and lay with him. I got up in that bed and I laid. I laid on him. That was, you know, one of the last times I've heard his heart. Just four months before his death, Caden decided to be an organ donor. His parents put his body, kept alive by a ventilator, on a plane to St. Louis so surgeons could procure his organs. He was about to go do the most important thing he'll ever do in his life, and that was to be a hero and go save, go save some more lives. And that's exactly what we whispered to him when he left. As Caden took his final flight, I know it's gonna be real emotional. Yeah, very emotional. Yeah. Lori McGuckin was in St. Charles on death's door, suffering from congestive heart failure. Okay, we're gonna take you right over here. Hoping to survive just a few more weeks so she could live to be a grandmother. I was really afraid, and I even asked the doctor, you know, before the transplant, am I gonna be around to see my you know, grandson born? And he's, he's like, we're gonna do the best we possibly can. That was all five years ago. So I'm gonna push this chair towards you. Lori lived to see her grandson born. Okay? Connor's now five. Let me go this way. And Caden's entire family is here on this day to see her. To meet Lori for the first time. <laughs> and hear their son's heart beat again. The heart that now beats in Lori's chest. That's like he's just right there. Both mom and dad listening to their firstborn. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And then their secondborn. Caden's 10-year-old sister, Claire. It's so nice to meet you, sweetheart. Heard it, too. Here, you hear Bubby's heart? Sound like a horse galloping? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> galloping really fast. Yeah. And in that moment, Caden's family had him back. It's like he came home. You know, he was home briefly. Um, what an amazing young man, you know, at 15 years old, that you want to be a organ donor. When I see her grandson, it just, it, it, it makes me think of him back at that age. I know how she feels to get to be a part of that young child's life. And while they'll forever grieve for their child. You got a wonderful gift. Yes, I did. They find what they call tremendous healing in Cadence, life-saving gifts. This is how we can make a difference. I could not save my child, but if we can help save somebody else, then, um, and that's what we're doing, and that's what we did, and that's what this is about.